is Middle East's most respected and recognized businessman. He's also a senior-rated Dubai ruler, Sheikh Mohammed. A member of the Dubai Executive Council, this man has spearheaded the development of Dubai's real estate sector by building the world's tallest tower and the world's most popular tourist attraction, the Burj Khalifa. Yes, I'm talking about none other than Mohammed Alabar, the founding member and chairman of Imar Properties. Tara Kapoor caught up with the man himself and spoke to him about Dubai as a brand, the development of downtown Dubai, Imar's expansion plans and everything in between. Take it away. First of all, Mr. Alabar, it's a pleasure to have you on Brand Equity. My first question is, uh, as the chairman of the EMA group, you've had an instrumental role in the transformation of Dubai as a brand and the development of it as a brand in itself. Uh, would you like to tell us a little bit about uh, your vision for Dubai and how you worked towards making that vision a reality? There was good planning, there was uh, good vision, but you know very well, execution is always uh, quite a risky thing. Uh, but I think the government was, uh, was focused, uh, realized that the whole region doesn't have a, uh, a service hub, if I call it, a commercial hub, uh, even if I call it so. Uh, therefore, I think the government was, was quite focused, uh, supportive, and the execution of infrastructure, soft and hard, was also well executed. I must say not only well, but I think it was executed, executed with a lot of speed. Now, our development is really built on large-scale uh, development with many components where, you know, we, 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 we do almost everything from fiber optics to the lakes to the fountains <laughs> to the malls, the hotels, the residences, the parks, the schools. And, and our belief is that we live uh, in a developing world where infrastructure is poor. But even if the infrastructure is good, the elements of what, of creation of a, a good lifestyle living the way you see it in UK, the way you see it in, Fra in France, the way you see it in, in the US, is not here. So we have a lot of development in the city where they're comprehensive and complete. And it adds so much value to the city. That's why on this site where we have 500 acres, uh, you know, we've done so much in six years that today it attracts almost 65 million visitors a year. You're also the chairman of the Dubai Event Council and we're seeing, you know, events like the World Fashion Show and um, the Dubai Shopping Festival that have really given a boost to industries like tourism, like hotels, etc. So could you talk about um, the kind of boost uh, you're seeing in your industry because of these spikes on the calendar? In our country, more than 50% of the population are, are below the age of 22, 23. Therefore, we are the people who really need these events more than anyone else. Because we have young population that celebrate all these events. But here in our part of the world, and even in India, I mean, it's Bombay and Delhi have all these events as a celebration. I think it promotes uh, retailing, promotes tourism, it promotes uh, the skills of organization, unity in society. But for us in, in Dubai, I think it's a great attraction uh, for our tourism into the uh, city. Uh, I believe also as we attract more tourism, a lot of this tourism is converted to investment and, and businesses. I mean, I'll give you a simple example uh, is that in some of these events, uh, all flights to Dubai are full. All. I'm saying all hotels are full. So that tells you what exactly happens. Sale, retail sale moves up uh, double digits. And of course, it's highlight the brand of the city of, uh, of Dubai and I think the same thing can happen in, in, in Bombay and in, in Delhi and uh, you know, Bangalore. The creation of the Burj Khalifa is undoubtedly one of the greatest architectural wonders in the world and you know, we've seen you develop the entire downtown Dubai around that. Could you talk about the, the way you created the concept and decided to go around um, developing downtown Dubai? Well, of course, uh, our wish is that we create a, uh, an incredible monument for our city that we love, that we celebrate. So I think the creation of Burj Khalifa is really is a, is a celebration of Dubai's uh, arrival uh, to the scene, uh, the global scene. Uh, as we built everything around it, our aim is that beside the, the global icon, we want to create a magnet that attracts people and celebrate. Uh, so we, we did put it next to the largest mall ever built, built and we put seven hotels around it. We built over 7,000 apartments in the same area. We've got this wonderful, of course, uh, magnificent fountain we have. But, you know, I mean, 
getting 65 million visitors, we'll finish this year by 70 million visitors. It's something that we never imagined we were going to reach. You're looking to take some of your hotels like the Dress and uh, the Armani Hotels and treat them into global brands and global hotels around the world. So could you talk about, you know, how you're marketing um, these hotels and what is your vision and how you're developing them in other markets? Well, in the, in the uh, hotel business, we are about 60 years old, so we're young. Uh, our hotels are doing extremely well. Uh, we're just starting now to, to look at uh, overseas investments. So, Adris is really our flagship, so we carry it with us in Turkey, we're carrying it with us in, in Egypt, in, in Morocco, uh, and at the same time we're looking at uh, other opportunities in other countries. Uh, on the Georgia Armani, we're very selective, uh, so we're not going to go to every city. The key cities in the world, the, the London, the Paris, the New York, the Tokyo, the Shanghai of the world. In India, IMA has done a lot of work in the northern region. We've seen um, you developing the Commonwealth uh, facility, the Commonwealth village uh, in 2010. Um, just wanted to look at the kind of challenges you face in the Indian market and, uh, you know, what is the growth strategy in, in India? Well, of course, uh, India is, uh, is the future of our region. That's a fact. No matter what India is going through, you see, long term, India is our China, I call it, for us in the Middle East. Uh, I think we have... Uh, we have reached a number of cities in India, close to about 18 cities in India, so we are quite large in, in India. Whatever India is going through, I always look on the long term, just temporarily. I think in one year, two years, I hope the politics uh, gets sorted out and people go back to business, and I'm sure it's, it's, that will happen. Will it be one year, will it be two years? Oh, without a doubt, I think that's what will happen. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.